Hey, hello everybody. I hope you are doing well. We are here at Will Acre Park, located at 3431 Fryman Road, Studio City, California. This video is about cardio. Alright, in this video, I want to talk more in the realm of cardio. Uh, there's a lot to talk about in getting people to understand how it actually works. I'm going to stop here. I've already been on this trail for a little while and we're going to take a look at my cardio watch. Now the best cardio watch to use is one where you have the uh, chest belt. My watch is saying 132% of my heart rate. I've done 312 calories so far and so far I've been on this trail for 28 minutes. That's pretty good. My target heart rate should stay around 135 to 137% of my target heart rate. Now I'll explain a little bit later in this video how you achieve and find out what your true target heart rate is. Try not to pay any attention to the corporate gyms or those little metal banners that they have on the walls. That only tells a third of the story, and they're very generic. Okay, now, to get your target heart rate, to find out what your personal target heart rate is, you have to do, say, burpees or steppers, which are those, well, don't know what color they'll have in your gym. Mine, at my personal training, are red but you can look up stepper and find out what they are. You stack those up about 18 inches off the ground and with a 10 pound weight in your hands, you would step up on a stepper, get back down and go at a reasonable speed, not too slow though. And you would do that for approximately three minutes. At the end of those three minutes, you would then watch the clock for one full minute. After that minute, then you count your pulse rate for 30 seconds. And in doing your pulse, always use your left wrist. Do not ever use the pulse in your right wrist or especially in your neck. All right, a little bit later in this recording, I'm going to explain a little bit more about calories and how many you actually receive off of your body fat compared to how many calories you've actually burnt in your workout. This is the best hiking spot for cardio. I don't know if that's why everyone else comes here or not. The reason why it's got the best for cardio is it gives you on the from the parking lot it gives you a good starting cardio cardio gets your heart rate really going and then it has some hills and uphills and then downhills and they allow you to get your breath a little bit and then get your heart rate back up and that's what cardio is really about you're supposed to get your heart rate up and then let it come back down a little bit then you pick it up again going back up and this is the place I've seen that has the best for that type of routine in your cardio let me give you a good example of why I say this is the best hiking spot you have some flatlands here and this is where I just came from so you're coming down from that but what you do is you come down this slope and eventually it turns into residential then you turn around at the yellow gate and do it all over again so you get a really good cardio out of this like right now i'm on the down slope and if you can see my watch hopefully i can't tell if the there you go i'm at 108 percent of my heart rate and i'm at 400 and three calories 
and I am 39 minutes into the cardio workout. Now, I keep calling it the Laurel Fryman hike. That's just what I'm used to. You gotta understand when you do cardio, whether it's on a treadmill or any machine, or on a hike, that eventually you're gonna get bored of that machine or hike. And so you have to find other places to mix it up with. Uh, what you could also do to make it a little easier to handle is you bring a friend with you so that you're not really paying attention to the scenery. You just think you're walking. Now me, I like to do things on my own. That way I can just talk to myself. And if there's an argument, there's no physical violence. And I have to say that on these hikes, I've always, you know, been greeted, greet people, always a smile. There's always friendly people. However, today on this hike, <laughs> there's a guy behind me, not too far away, who's singing and humming to himself. Uh, and well, although singing and humming is okay, All right, we're gonna take another look at the cardio watch. Hopefully you can see it in the shade. I don't know what works best. Let's get in the sun. Okay, hopefully, the, oh, there you go. All right, well, the Hummer's coming, so I gotta hurry. Uh, okay, the cardio watch says 111%, and I'm at 425 calories. We've been on 45 minutes of this hike so far. Hopefully you can see that. There you go, good. And I'll tell you a little bit more in the recording uh, how long it really takes because I've done this trail a number of times and it's taken me different amounts of time uh, longer because of these recordings. And I'll give you a hint of how long this takes so that you can plan your hike here and still get your other chores done at the end of the day. Okay, this is what I call the halfway point. Now most people, well some people, go out through this exit here, where's my finger, right through here, and it turns into residential and then they go all the way around and get to the parking lot. Now me, I like to turn around because I want to get the secondary part of the cardio and in doing so, usually on average I hit around 800 calories, but it really just depends on, you know, what's going on with your build and your body at the, at the moment. Okay, this is uh, within a minute of turning around at what I call the halfway point. Now, my calories, or rather my heart rate, is going up. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's at 128. So it's already gone up 10% of my target heart rate. Everyone is going to have a different target heart rate, by the way. That's why I was going to explain to you later on how you find out what your target heart rate is. All right, another minute or so has gone by. I wanted to show you. See, now my watch is flashing 135% of my target heart rate. That's exactly where it should be. And if you can see that little number in the upper right, I'm at 476 calories for this run so far. Okay, now my target heart rate is reaching 140, if you can see that, I hope. All right, 140. Now. I just went down. What you want to do is remember, don't overdo your target heart rate. It's unnecessary. You just need consistency, longevity. Once you reach your target heart rate, the idea of cardio is to continue, keep it up as long as you can. It's not some of these people who, you know, they got on a cardio machine and they crack me up in the gym where, you know, the men are reading their Wall Street, women, Cosmo, and they're just walking. Yeah, it's doing something. It's giving you something to walk on while you're reading your magazine. If you don't hit your target heart rate, you're not really getting much out of it. All right, so my cardio is 143. I hope you can see that before it goes down. And uh, again, what I'm trying to say is if you're hitting too high over your target heart rate, then you want to kind of cool it down. 
So, first thing, to cool it down, I suggest strongly, you don't sit down, never sit down when your heart rate's going high. You can walk in a circle, walk back and forth, let your heart rate come back down. In a, another video I've done of the same trail, but the video is in regards to the trail itself, with a little bit of cardio added to it, you'll see that my watch actually hit uh, 155 at some points. Well, that wasn't on purpose, that was on accident. And so, it's important that you don't overdo it. Don't wanna have a stroke or sunstroke or anything like that. Plus on that day, I did it at a 91 degree weather. <laughs> All right, uh, this is the second time I've seen some high schoolers trekking through here. Two just passed me. This guy passed me and then turned around. I asked him what high school it was. I think he said Bridget. Bridge. Bridgestone. Bridgestone Academy, I believe it was. And I just like to say, this is a good routine for them. Um, it's going to give them the more the energy for their probably track and field sports and long distance running. Earlier in the video, I showed the that downgrade and now I'm going back up that grade which is now it's an upgrade anyway my heart rate is 125 percent hopefully you can see that 125 percent I'm at 587 calories and I am 56 minutes into this cardio workout hike if you will anyway when I get to the top of this hill, I want to show the difference in the heart rate, just how much greater it gets just from this one slope. And there are basically, well, numerous slopes, not quite as steep as this one, although the beginning from the parking lot is very steep and very lengthy, so it really gets the heart rate going. Yeah, my watch is saying 141. I'm not quite at the top yet. Lots of black insects around here. All right. And this hike is being done well after the 3.30 hour. Okay, still going. All right. So 150, 150, I think I'm through the halfway point of this upgrade. <clears throat> and yes, it's not easy talking and trying to inhale oxygen while you're doing cardio. <laughs> All right, nearly at the top now. I'm at 155, 154. Hopefully you can see it, there it is. 154, 605 calories so far. <clears throat> I am 58 minutes into this hike, cardio. And this is virtually the other halfway, halfway point. <laughs> I'll explain that later. Okay, uh, about a minute after the upgrade completed, my heart rate is down to 140% on my target heart rate. Okay, and that's what I'm trying to explain. You know, this is going a little bit of a downhill. It lets the heart rate kind of come to a rest. Uh, when you see your target heart rate hitting uh, say about within 10% of the 
under what your target heart rate is that's when you want to kind of bring that heart rate back up again okay so my target heart rate is at 120 right now I mean that's where the percentage is not my target um, normally one would start running to get that cardio uh, heart rate back up now me uh, the best excuse I can come up with is well I have my car keys and house keys in my pocket I got my wallet in my pocket um, let's see the sun's in my eyes uh, war time football accident uh, anyway I'm kind of here for the scenery as well as the cardio so it's not all cardio in fact I went to the gym just before I got here and did a uh, weight training workout so if you choose not to run, and there's nothing wrong with that, because the longer you do this, like I was saying earlier in the video, it's about longevity once you get your target heart rate up. There you go. You never know who you're going to meet out here. I'm going to try to get a better angle of him. There he is. Whee! So far the only things I've seen are a lot of lizards, like this guy here. Oh, there he is. And a couple rabbits. And only one snake so far. Let's see if he's alive. He's alive! <laughs> Alright, let's leave him alone. All right, now most of this is going to be uh, downhill. So the heart rate is gonna come down greatly. Again, if you so choose, you could run and get the heart rate back up. Right now, of course I found a friend up here, talked with him for a moment. So my heart rate is at uh, 114, 115, and my calorie count is 754 calories. And I'm an hour and 13 minutes into this hike. But again, it's, it is important that you reach your target heart rate, but longevity is the second secret. Always keep that in mind. So, uh, although I'm not going to do any running down the hill, uh, that would be another option. I'll be happy with hitting uh, close to 800 calories. Now, if I didn't already explain it in this video, Whatever your calorie count is when you're completed with your cardio, you must divide it by four. Because the other two thirds is the fuel, energy, gasoline, whatever you want to call it, that it takes to do the exercise. So your body is taking the calories from different sources within the body. And I say divide it by four, that seems to be the best average I can come up with with all the information I've had and what I've seen on my build when I've lost body fat. So the figure, total, sum, whatever you want to call it, that you get after dividing it by four, you take that and put that with the 3,500 calories per one pound of fat. And that's how you know how far along you are. Now, let's not forget, 24 hours a day, your body is burning calories. All right, so if your next question is, well, how many calories does my body burn in that 24 hours when I'm sleeping or just at the office? Well, it's an unknown number because that's where your build body and endurance all come in to play your age uh, all these factors but I can tell you this as soon as you start cardio if you've been a couch potato or what I say is when you're coming from the couch and starting any kind of workout plan when you're doing any cardio any weight training your your heart rate is gonna jump really high 
So you got to be careful and go slow in the beginning if you decide to do any cardio or weight training plan. But you will burn more calories and have a higher heart rate in the very beginning. It will taper off every fourth week for the first three months. That's something I've known from doing it myself. So although it will taper off a little bit, it won't be impossible to hit your target heart rate. Now what I mean by that is it will taper off. It will be a little bit more difficult to reach such a high heart rate with little work. We're almost at the end of this hike and uh, thought I'd stop for a second. Okay, you can see that my heart rate, hopefully, there you go, see that my heart rate is all the way down to 112 and I'm at 485 calories, hopefully you can see that. And um, I only have another three minutes of the hike left. And I forgot to mention, I've been on this trail for an hour and 25 minutes. All right, as you see, we've hit the uh, parking lot. I'm going to go over here to the bench and sum up a few things. The, let's see if I can get this to show. The, there it is, there's good. Okay, 111% is where my heart rate is. I hit 872 calories, that's up in the upper right. Hopefully you can see that. The amount of time to do this hike was an hour and 29 minutes, but a lot of that has to do with my stopping for the recording. And I also saw a friend up here, and we stopped and talked for about two minutes. Well, so as we look upon this really fantastic classic car, I want to sum it up by stating that there's a equation that you need when you find out what your target heart rate is. When you find out how many pulses you have in the 30 minutes, seconds, sorry, 30 seconds, uh, that number goes into an equation and there's some math done. I could provide that on the description and see if it'll let me do that. All right, so if you like this video, please click like and please subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.